What's up everybody, Jason with HOJ Forge. Um, taking a quick time out in the video series I've been doing about uh, hand forging that Damascus knife. Um, I'll get, I'm actually just about done with it, so I'll, I'll you know, finish that up and uh, edit that video up. It's going to be another long one, FYI. But, um, I wanted to take a minute uh, if you found my video, I've got about 3,000 subscribers, and I'm just talking like 2,900, something like that, and probably two-thirds of you are here for the forging videos. Um, the rest kind of uh, have come along from my early days as the Jeep guy, um, and out of those 2,000 people that come for the forging videos, I'm assuming most of you have already found a video channel by Chandler Dickinson. Uh, I mention him a lot in my videos um, because he's been uh, such an inspiration to me personally. Um, and if you haven't found Chandler's videos, I encourage you to go do that. Chandler Dickinson, old, old School Forge. Um, a, a really an inspiring story that he's been through um, to get where he is today being a full-time blacksmith. And so, anyways, I want to do this video for Chandler. I was watching uh, a video he put up last night, and Chandler's going through some some dark places in his head right now. I'm struggling a little bit. And uh, a lot of us have gone through that. And um, so, Chandler, I don't know if you're watching this. Uh, hopefully... Um, you know, I'm going to try and post links up somehow on your Facebook or something so you can see it because I don't know how to get this video to you. So um, hopefully at some point you see it because I just want to uh, take a minute as someone who has gone through um, a lot of what you're going through um, and, and have, uh, I've been there, I've fought the fight and... I like to think I've won the fight. I'm, I've come to a point in my life where I'm a pretty happy guy. Um, I still have my days, but uh, for the most part, um, you know, I don't wrestle with the same demons that I used to. Um, so, just coming from that experience of going through a horrendous, I mean, after 16 years, um, my wife and I, um, had to go our separate ways. Um, it was just time. I'm, I'm not going to tell you about her because uh, there's no need to. Um, she was not a, a good person. Um, but it was someone who I loved, the mother of four of my six children. And, um, yeah, it was not easy. And I wrestled with that for a long, long time. So I, I understand that. Um, I understand those dark places. I understand, um, understand a lot of it uh, and it, it's hard to I'm not gonna sit here and say I get it I know what you're going through Chandler I know because everyone deals with it differently everyone has their own demons everyone has their own darkness and so I'm not gonna patronize you and and say that um, what I am gonna say is I wish I knew you outside of uh, just watching your videos um, and following you on Facebook and things like that. Um, and I, I don't think you realize how important you are to a lot of people whom you've never met. I mean, you, you, you kept referring in your video to people, um, you know, your, your fans on YouTube. Um, you kept referring to them. Uh, I don't want to say in a way that that acted like you didn't care. But, I mean, I get it. You don't know them. You don't know us. You don't know me from Adam. But I know you. At least the part of you that you're willing to put forth on your YouTube videos. Um, and I appreciate that part of you. And, and I, I, I just wanted to take a minute to let you know that, that yes, you do matter. Um a lot to people you've never met. Can I call you my friend? Probably not. Um, I'd like to think that we could be um, if 
I weren't in northern Michigan and you weren't in New York and you know we ran into each other our our views in life on life about life are sound eerily similar um, and I think we could relate um, but you know that's that's neither here nor there so um no the purpose of this video is for me to to tell you directly to the camera at least that you did make a difference you are making a difference you will continue to make a difference in my life um, and I know a lot of people's lives uh, reading the comments after your video I mean I saw how much uh, you've touched people and you've inspired people and so many people have gone through the same all right maybe not the same but similar darkness fighting similar demons um, and so when people reach out to you and say you know give that well I understand what you're going through I get it they don't I mean no one knows what I went through when I was going through it um, so uh, again I'm not gonna patronize you and say I know what you're going through because I don't um, but I do want you to know that when you do fight every day to to wake up, to go into your shop, to make content for us. I'm, uh, I've been blacksmithing about as long as you have, Chandler, but I have not taken it nearly as seriously as you. Um, my knives, you know, I'll throw my knives up against a, a lot of different knife makers in the world. Um, but as far as just coming up with ideas and... I go to your videos to to get ideas, to learn how to forge. If you go and watch my videos, you'll see me doing, I'm doing Chandler's Herb Chopper. And I say it right there because you're that inspiring. You, you've inspired me to do my first craft shows, um, which have been successful enough where I was able to quit my second job, my part-time job, and I can just focus on um, blacksmithing, doing, doing things at the anvil here and doing craft shows um, and I credit you for that Chandler you were the inspiration for me I've said this on your Facebook page um, but I want to tell you as close to face to face as as I know how to get um, which right now is through the, the video camera um, but you have inspired me your work ethic inspires me your never say die attitude inspires me the fact when you don't know something, you're not scared to do it, to try it, to try something new, to learn something new. Um, or, or even if you are scared, you don't let that fear intimidate you to the point where you don't try it. From uh, the trying to smelt the, the, you know, what you swept off up off the floor to... To everything, the the frying pans, man. I wish I <laughs> could get up the nerve to try a flipping frying pan. That looks a little scary to me. But um, no, um, man to man, Chandler. I wish I wish I was. I, I understand the the you know. Just come hang out. Let's just sit here and commiserate. Um, I get it. Sometimes it's just it's better with another person there and you don't have to say a damn word um, I would have done that in this video I just sit here I get it man would have made for a pretty damn boring video so um, yeah I know I'm I keep acting like I want to think of the right words to say to you and, and I don't I, there's no words I can say to you I mean you'll, you'll wrestle with your demons and and you'll make it through. I have no doubt. I have 100% confidence you'll win this fight. Um, I just wish I could, you know, be in your corner um, as a total and complete stranger. That, that's just the weird part. I'm talking like you're my best friend. And, uh, yeah, we've never met. Um, but we have, in a lot of ways, through YouTube. Because... You know, when, when you look at the the entertainment aspect of the YouTube videos, 
I mean, that I watch a lot of them for that. I watch a lot for the entertainment value of it. You are a funny man, Chandler. You, you I, I love your attitude. <laughs> I love your piss and vinegar. It is, uh, it is fun. It is entertaining to watch you. I don't care whether it's blacksmith or you know, hell, whatever you do. From this point forward in life, videotape it, because I'll be watching the damn videos, because you are a fun and entertaining person to watch. But the difference between that and, and like, watching a TV show and thinking that, you know, I'm, I'm best friends with whoever, some Hollywood actor, because I watch their TV show. No, this is, this is you. I mean, th there's no scripted show in Chandler Dickinson world, so... And so, yes, I do feel like I know you and can talk to you um, like this. And maybe it's all wrong. And maybe maybe you'll never see this video. Maybe I won't be able to figure... I'm not technology savvy, so maybe I won't be able to figure out how to get it posted here, there, or anywhere else. But I'm going to do my best. I'll throw it up on my YouTube channel and maybe uh, someone who's... Uh, you know, followers of both of ours can figure it out for me. I don't know. Um, I'll try. I'll, I'm, I want you to see this video so that you know at least one other person in this world has gone through what you're going through. I get it. I'm not going to try and give you any major words of wisdom on how to deal with it. You'll deal with it how you need to deal with it. And, uh, and yeah, I just want you to know that that you're an inspiration. You have inspired me to, I mean, I was, when you started doing your blacksmithing videos, I was just, I mean, I was that close to building my own forge. I had everything laid out. I just had to do it. So, um, so we started, you know, in this, this experiment at the same time. Uh, and you've just taken it further than anything I could ever hope or dream to. Well, no, I take that back. I can hope and dream. But, um, but you've done it. And I know circumstances kind of threw you into that you know, with losing your job, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, that's the fight, the piss and the vinegar that I see in chat. Damn you, world! I'm doing what I want to do. Um, so yeah, uh, take it for what it is, man. Um, don't respond. You don't need to. I, I just hope you see it, and I hope you realize that. Uh, Hey, yes, you've inspired a lot of people, and here's one willing to put this video up on a YouTube channel that has nothing to do with me being a psychologist or anything else, but I want you to be able to see it because I don't know how else to get a hold of you. So, here you go. That's it. Thank you, everybody else, for um, for dealing with this. Um, I just felt like it was important. So, um, I'll leave it up here. Um, on my channel until I know Chandler has seen it and I don't know, Chan you know, Chandler, it, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's helping somebody else too. So um, maybe I'll just leave it up here. But next video, we'll be finishing up that knife and I, <laughs> I meant to take make the next one so much shorter, um, but now it's gonna be even longer than either of the first two probably. Um, Sorry, when you get into the grinding and the sanding and all the finishing work, it's it's a long process. Forging is the easy part of making a knife. Um, so, anyways, Chandler, thank you, man. I appreciate your videos, and um, yeah, I'll be I'll I will be there. I will be one of the faithful, um, waiting for another one whenever you feel ready, bro brother. Um, not going anywhere. Uh, you've been too much of an inspiration to me. So, thank you again. Uh, thank you, everybody, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one when we uh, finish up the knife. See. You.